Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about factors and multiples. What are multiples? When we multiply a number by 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on, we get multiples of that number. Let's say for example, we have here two circles. Okay? And we will have it times 2, and that is 4 circles. And if we're going to multiply 2 by 3 again, we'll have 6 circles. If we wish to multiply 2 by 4, then of course we'll generate 8 circles. So the multiples of 2 are the following. We have 2, 4, 6, and 8. Okay, let's have it written at the top. 2, 4, 6, and 8. We can say that 2, 4, 6, and 8 are called the multiples of 2. What about factors? Are they the same with multiples? Of course not. When a number is expressed as a product of two or more counting numbers, then each of these counting numbers is a factor of the given number. What do we mean by counting numbers? These numbers starts at 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's say for example we have 12. Let's find the factors of 12. Let's think of two numbers that will give us a product of 12. Okay, let's have 1 and 12. These are two factors of 12 because when you multiply 1 and 12, you'll get 12. What else? Okay, let's have 2 and 6. When you multiply 2 and 6, you get 12. So we can say that 2 and 6 are factors of 12. Same as through with 3 and 4. You get a 12 as the product and of course, 3 times 2 times 2. Then we can say that each of these counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 is a factor of 12. Okay? Any questions with factors and multiples? Let's have this first question. Which of the following is a multiple of 21? A, 1, B, 3, C, 7, D, 21. To solve this problem, we can use the listing method. We can have 21 is equal to 21 times 1, 21 times 2, and 21 times 3, and so on and so forth. The multiples of 21 are the following, 21, 42, and 63, and so on and so forth. So for this question, our answer is letter D. That's 21. Next question, how many factors do 10 have? A1, B2, C3, D4. We can use the listing method again to solve this question. Let's have 10. What numbers can we multiply to get a 10? And that is 10 times 1. What else? That is 5 times 2. Okay. All we need to do is to list all the factors. That's 1. We can have it from the lists to the greatest. That's 1, 2, 5, and 10. So how many factors do we have all in all? And that is 4. Our answer for this question is letter D. Next question. What is the sum of all the factors of 20? A42, B41, C37, D30. We may list all the factors of 20. Okay, let's have 20 times 1, 10 times 2. We also have 5 times 4. We can list from the list of the greatest. That's starting from 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Okay, let's add all of these factors. We may start from 10 and 20, that is 30. We will add also 4 and 5, that's 9, and 1 and 2 is 3. Just add all these numbers and we get 42. And that is our final answer. That's letter A. Next 
Next question. 28, 35, 42, and 49 are all multiples of which number? A, 3, B, 7, C, 8, D, 12. I am sure that the answer here is letter B because 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is equal to 14, 7 times 3 is equal to 21, and then 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 5 is equal to 35, and 7 times 6 is equal to 42, and 7 times 7 is equal to 49. That makes our answer letter B. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. The question is, what is the sum of all the factors of 25? And the second question is, give the first three multiples of 18. I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!